This is Montessori classroom materials for sale. I was going to start a school, but where I'm at, it's much too rural and um, I don't seem to be getting the enrollment, so I want to sell the whole lot. Uh, Montessori based curriculum. Practical life. There's dressing frames, pouring, scooping, latching, uh, funnel tonging, tea for two, matching locks, matching baskets, water pouring, over here, tool unscrewing, lacing, lacing, shoe polishing, cloth folding, washing station, there's um, a little more lacing here, lacing buttons, lacing shoes, and in this container we've got a bunch of cute little jars to open and close. And then up here, sorting, color sorting, bears. Um, and then this is pouring, pouring beans. We also have a cleaning station. I generally like the Melissa and Doug ones. Also, there's another basket for window washing. Moving over to Sensorial, broad stair, pink tower, red rods. Also have some bell matching. Um, and all these materials are new except some things, like the baskets and the trays and some of the things for practical life but they've all been sanitized with bleach water we've got knobless cylinder, sound cylinder, um, triangle boxes here's cards for triangles for the older child we've also got geometric shapes a lot of this stuff is brand new like I mentioned so it's still wrapped so when I ship it it doesn't get damaged at all and then the stands for that and there's a mystery bag to use with it I um, also have another mystery bag. This one's kind of fun, a little fishy. It's got various things in there. Um, and then I've got the knobbed cylinders. Uh, this is a scent smelling station. There's five different oils in there. Tasting with cards. Um, these are barrack tablets. You've got matching sandpaper tablets. There's also the grading sandpaper tablets. Color box two. I don't have one because this is for a three to five year old group. Um, this is going to be color mixing station, um, cloth matching, and then as far as geography, it's the planisphere puzzle, the globe, and cards and markers. Um, and then each continent has continent animals with the three part cards, as well as items that you might see on that continent. Um, nice little totem pole there. So I collect things from all over the state. I do about one package a year that I sell. This is the fourth one that I've put together. Um, the, uh, the whole lot doesn't come with this particular cabinet because it's my grandmother's and I really like it, but um, they would be each have their own particular container that you would put these items in and keep collecting them over time. Moving on to language. You've got the metal insets with paper, colored pencils. There's a sand tray. Um, those are scissors for cutting patterns. Um, again, these aren't unwrapped, but they're lowercase and uppercase sandpaper letters. Here's a cutting station. Bird matching, shell matching, uh, tails to nose matching, holes in half matching, uh, shell shapes to silhouette matching. In here is tools um, with cards for matching. So it's kind of fun. <clears throat> well, of course, I think all this stuff's fun. <laughs> uh, let's see, big and small. There's the farm. Um, sea life matching. You've got movable alphabet with a mat. Um, these ones are really fun because they're the phonetic pink, but you can rotate them around, so it's a little more hands-on. Uh, <clears throat> this one is a rhyming card, like car, star, with the objects for it. I actually have a second set of that as well. Then I like to do, uh, for Letter of the Week, a box that you can put all these things in. Uh, for instance, in each letter there is a wooden letter, and then there's the card of the object the object itself and then for the students when they're a little older to match the words 
so a lot of these objects, some of them are going to be, you know, handmade, like that one. I think some of them are also like a bone china, so they're not not just uh, super inexpensive ones. There's some shellac, and also there's extra animals, a box of them that are a little larger that don't fit in here for more hands-on work. Um, and then as far as pink, green, blue reading, this year I did it a little different. I added the green and blue, uh, which I didn't have before, but you've got three part cards, um, letters to draw. You've got more hands-on matching words, and then objects that would go with that. So that's all the vowels. And then when I get into blue reading, I just have them in one box here. Um, and there's no objects in the blue reading, but there's different hands-on tools that the children can use, as well as matching words to images. There's like an envelope on the back for that. Um, there's word lists. And then there's also words that have images attached to them that would go side by side. Um, and then as they go along, they've got a, a bunch of those that are um, sentences. And then when you're getting into the green reading, they don't have all the unusual sounds, but I've got the main ones in here. And these ones do have some objects with them. Like it's going to have a word list, and then it's going to have a couple objects that go with that. And then this box contains all of green reading um, word lists to go through. So that's for the child that's advancing. Obviously it's going to be five and a half to six and a half. Um, then we're getting into the math section. Each one of these sections has two shelves each, and there's more on it than you would normally put out when you start the school year, but they're going to switch out as the year goes along, and you have students that are interested. But starting in math, it's sandpaper letters, it's number stamping, um, you've got the number rods with some cards there. Um, this clock puzzle, although the clock's a little more advanced, the puzzle kind of gets them started with the idea of the numbers going around the clock. And then there's cards to match um, as they go along. This one is for the colored pointers. And actually the colored bead box hasn't come in yet, but it should be here any day. There's a coloring sheet for it. And then this one, and you could use any object, but these are eyeballs. <laughs> uh, counting up 1 through 10. More hands-on equipment, just like um, the spindle rods. And then, um, this is the smaller version of it, so a little easier for small hands to hang on to. Down the road, you've got uh, the coin tray and the math, excuse me, the subtraction, addition, rods on tray uh, with paper guides for that. Those are laminated. All the cards here are hand-wrapped, um, but some of them are just laminated. Depends on how much they might be used. Uh, the hundred board, got tanagrams, and there's a lot of extra tanagram pieces that come with this, um, and there's multiplication, division board, stamp game, which I love the stamp game. Um, this is the MACT one where they do the dot game, and this is just the regular stamp game sheets that go with that. And then into fractions, and these I haven't cut apart because I feel like it's just too many pieces, but you can kind of get the idea of how the numbers go to the amount of wedges in a circle and then there's also a sheet here that they can work on. So included with this set is all the electronic files for any data that's printed out. That way you can print out additional pieces if they get lost. Um, going into the science area and this is where your unit studies are going to more come in. Like for instance when you're talking about the solar system I mean, there's so many different things you can do between games, puzzles. Um, these are the three-part matching cards. You can do mobiles. There's quite a few things. Same with this. This is um, matching. And these cards, when they go together, because children, some of them aren't going to be reading just yet, um, they will have on the back dots. And so they can, when they're done matching, they can turn over the cards and see if they were correct. So as the standard Montessori, a lot of self-correcting material. I've got a fish with three-part cards and a bird with three-part cards. Um, minerals, three-part cards. This one is 
magnetic, non-magnetic box. Uh, this one's transportation three-part card with objects and life cycle of a frog, apple tree, and cherry. And of course, you know, you they have a, a lot of different ways that you can describe those things, which is half the fun of doing Montessori. Um, here's the scale. Here's a weight system uh, where they can write down different weights. Um, I do have, as far as art, I think there should always be a little bit of art. This is a paint station. Um, what I've done in the past is use like art cards and ask them to pick one and then mimic that. Um, so they get color to use, used to using colors and how to place them manually on a page. But of course, there's so many different varieties of things you could do. Um, let's see, this is also for measurements, cups, spoons, scoops, three-part cards. Um, also have the land, water, air. Uh, you've got cards to go with it as well as objects. This is land forms, lakes and rivers, uh, any bodies of water. Leaf shapes, uh, Montessori classroom where they have a lot of space. They're going to have these kind of as a puzzle, but um, for a smaller environment, I think it works better to use the cards. And as you show it, you can read what it says about it so that they kind of get an idea of what that shape means. Um, they can also mimic the shape. You can use leaves that you find outside to find out what shape matches. Um, also have some music instruments because I think that's important to have music as well as other things. Um, this is mammal and reptile sorting. So those are what I have on the shelves. But outside of that, there's other things. Um, there's art materials, extra. Also can be used for counting. And there's serving utensils, squeezing, nut cracking, egg slicing, egg beater. Um, so there's a lot of materials there for that. And then the rest of the items that I'm going to show you are cards. This is animal families, which can have the colored dots on the back. Um, and flower arranging, that would go over in Practical Life. And over here is extra cards um, to rotate on the shelves throughout the course of the year. Plants and seeds. This is um, matching, where you can turn them upside down and then turn them over. Uh, these are describing different activities children can do. These are art cards, famous American artists. And what comes next, matching. Um, some cards about the months of the year. This is items that go together, like paint and paintbrush. This is what doesn't belong. You exit out. Here we've got food groups, and it's got all the different images that would go on each section. Um, like, for instance, this, meat, purple, protein. So again, they can correct when they're done to see if they got it correct, or got it right when they were doing the matching. This is more shapes. Again, like the leaf shapes, this is, in Montessori room, a lot of times they'll have this as a puzzle. It takes so much space. Um, so it's better, I think, just to use the cards and to describe them and, again, do different activities with them. There's the cards for matching um, from big to little. And then extra, these are big to little cards, brushes, that small to larger as we go along. Um, fish, these are animals, farm animal three-part cards. These are the bossy E cards, hop to hope. So that goes in the reading area. Um, these are more art cards. And then some spice matching. Wait, but we're not done. We're getting close. <laughs> There's about 60 books. Uh, these are educational books. So you're going to find some things specifically. Um, but some things are learning. Got to have the giving tree. Uh, let's see. The grouchy... Grouchy ladybug, birds, reptiles, dictionary, dinosaurs, fish. Um, but there are a lot of storybooks in here, too. It's not just strictly educational. But if I get any um, just fun books, it has to do with real things, not necessarily um, any cartoon characters. There would be zero cartoon characters, except in, like, this ABC book, because it's an ABC book. Um, so there's a good assortment in there. And then there's some wood puzzles um, for matching, which I think really should be in the geography area, or not geography, um, in the math area, because you're dealing with forms. 
quantities. Hi-Ho Cherio is a game the kids love, so I just include that. And then I make these binder books. This one's land, so it's just land form, and you read it to the children. Then they can go back and, by identification of the picture, say what the word is. And I've seen a lot of pride with that as far as feeling as though they're now reading. Um, and I did mention before that there's extra animals, so here's a whole basket of larger animals to use for matching or whatever. So if you have any questions, you can call me. My name is Teresa Bauer, and this is for Montessori Lots. My number is 509-707-3146. Thank you.